Hello friends, welcome to Desi Plaza TV. Uh, you are with us. My name is Khushboo Rawley and today I'm hosting this show uh, for Sasha Singh. She is a heartthrob of Tollywood and a teen sensation of Dallas. She's actually uh, played a very crucial role in this movie, Apatlo Oka Dundevaru, which is directed by Sagar Chandra and produced by Prashanti and Krishna Vijay. This ha is produced under the banner of RN Media Works and movie is being presented by Nara Rohit. Uh, lead characters are Sri Vishnu, Tanya Hope, Nara Rohit, among others. So, uh, Sasha, thank you so much for giving us your time. Thanks for being here with us. And uh, wow, what a big hit this was. Actually, it was a bigger hit than expected. So, we would first of all like to know how was your experience uh, doing this movie? Well, thank you for having me, Kushbuji. Um, and thank you, Desi Plaza TV, for arranging this. I'm very, very happy to be here today. Um, so, yeah, my experience was amazing, obviously. Um, it's been a lot of hard work uh, by the entire team. It's been a long time, a long-awaited film. But in the end, I'm just so happy that it worked out and people are enjoying the film. It is. Mm -hmm. It is actually a wonderfully directed movie mm -hmm. with uh, yeah. actually quite uh, an attention to a lot of details with subplots and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, the other thing which is uh, of course so fascinating and for sure it, it was supposed to be a big hit because it had a part of cricket in it. Yes. <laughs> so yes. how was uh, your experience actually playing that part of like, you know, playing as a cricketer, as you know, as a female cricketer in the movie? So, learning process and acting it all out. Yeah, well, like you said, like, <laughs> India lives on cricket. We all love cricket. So, when I heard there was cricket in this film, I was super excited because I have always enjoyed watching it, um, but I've never really played cricket before. So, this kind of pushed me to learn. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot of fun. My family um, helped me out a little bit. They, like, my mom, who is a huge fan of yeah cricket so he would teach me some shots and stuff <laughs> and um, yeah so basically uh, I learned as much as I could and then on the set the girls were the girls that were playing my team members mm -hmm. um, on the cricket team were actual uh, cricketers so they were so also cool. helping me they were like no Didi like no I can't hold it like this and stuff so they were en I enjoyed so much learning with them so, so now you're an official player for us. You yes. can join them in their league. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Next, maybe. you'll be doing my interview for cricket. <laughs> exactly. We need, we need a cricket league in Dallas as well. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we have one. <laughs> Led by you. <laughs> so uh, how was the experience uh, in terms of acting, working with such uh, experienced people mm -hmm. and uh, the actors in the movie, Tanya Hope and Vishnuji? Yeah, I mean... Um, a lot of the actors, it was a mix of people that had done a lot of films before. Mm -hmm. um, Rohit ji, Nara mm -hmm. Rohit, he's done multiple films and he's he's been a big hit. So, mm -hmm. And there were a lot of newcomers also. Tanya Hope, this was also her debut film, um, like me. So it was, it was interesting. Everyone was very helpful. I actually don't even speak Telugu, but everyone made me feel like I really belonged. <laughs> and uh, they made me feel at home. It was, it, it was, I never felt like there was a communication gap or anything like that. And the actors were always giving me tips. Mm -hmm. uh, Brahma Ji, actually, who um, plays a big role in the film, he, I have a lot of scenes with him. So he gave me a lot of tips on acting and just in general the industry. So it's a lot of fun. And Nara Rohit and Sri Vishnu and all these big actors, they're not intimidating. They're very sweet. Um, Rohit ji was actually very shy, or not mm -hmm. shy, but he's very quiet, so that was interesting. Interesting to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You kind of understand Telugu a little bit. You would look too comfortable. Kunchu, a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. I'll get there soon. Yeah. I'll get there soon. But that, that's really nice, you know, uh, that you felt so comfortable doing this movie, mm -hmm. even though your part was a little bit uh, dubbed, right? Yeah, In my part was dubbed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine and Tanya's part was dubbed with different voices. Because mm -hmm. she's cool. not available. So you played uh, the role of a journalist, it seems like. The st yes. The student uh, and all that. So uh, how did you practice for your role? How was, how did? Uh, Sagar, Sagar Chanda, the mm -hmm. amazing director of this film, he, his style is very um, spontaneous, I feel like, or at least for this film, my mm -hmm. experience with him. It was not improvisation, but I wouldn't know what I was going to shoot that day. So I would go to set, 
Um, I would sit and wait for someone to come tell me what the scene is. And like within 15 minutes, I would try to learn the dialogues and go shoot it. So it was like a very natural way of acting. It wasn't a lot of rehearsal, which some people prefer. Um, but I think the director wanted to see that rawness from us, from the actors. Oh. So uh, it was like a lot on the spot, actually. That's pretty um, interesting. So you were not given yeah. a script ahead of time. So it was pretty no. impromptu. No yeah. wonder you actually felt like as if you were just there enjoying. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it felt parts, very so real. And yeah. Yeah. It didn't feel so like your first movie, honestly. You played it so well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You are. Uh, you're so welcome. So how, um, how do you manage so much? You are a finance student over here in UTD. And uh, along with that, you ended up doing this movie. Uh, mm. Of course, you managed to make your day much more productive than others do. But we would like to listen it from you that how did you manage that balancing part? I kind of have a little like mantra that I say to myself. It's kind of like <laughs> really cheesy. But every day I um, like tell myself what my goals are and what I will do to achieve them every day, no matter what. And it's just like a few lines. So I feel like that kind of keeps me going and everything I do during the day should be towards, to, should be working towards that goal. So that's kind of what I try to do. Um, but I, I have a lot of support from my family also and not everyone has that unfortunately, but my mom came to India with me. Mm -hmm. So she sacrificed a lot to be with me and uh, my entire family, my sister helped a lot, my dad. So. Uh, I was lucky to have that support and I think that's really how it was possible. And actually when I was in India for mm -hmm. a year, I lived uh, in mm -hmm. Mumbai for a year, um, I did online high schooling. So yeah. UT Austin, the UT system has online schooling, which is really cool for people that want an alternate exactly. career path. Exactly. The benefits path. Of, be of being here, you have yeah. options if you, you really want to make it work. <laughs> exactly. You have a lot of yes. options. Exactly. But so. at the same time, the effort is yours. You were the one who balanced it. You were the one who did it. Even though it was online, you had to do it. So, yeah. well, good, good yeah, job. Yeah, it's a, it's a team effort. It is a team everyone. effort. <laughs> but yeah, so, and, and now actually, um, I'm doing dance also. So You have been doing dance since so long. So yeah. friends actually, uh, they also own Musti Dance Academy. Yes. And she has been teaching dance since ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, she has also actually won a pageant, India, yeah. Miss India American uh, Association pageant mm -hmm. over here. So, oh wow, she, ha she holds a lot of flags <laughs> on her. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's and we are truly proud of you. And uh, you, you manage them all uh, really well. So, so amongst all this, you know, mm -hmm. dancing and uh, uh, you know, you know, studying and uh, acting, and now playing cricket, maybe. <laughs> maybe. So, uh, well, you already <laughs> did it. It's just about like doing it professionally now. <laughs> so, what did you enjoy? What do you enjoy the most? Wh where do you think your um, uh, your heart lies? If you have to choose a path for future, um, my heart has always kind of lied with performing arts in general. In general. Mm -hmm. um, I've been dancing from a very young age, so even as a three-year-old, I used to go up and dance and shake and, you know, so I've, I've been dancing for a while. Um, I did a lot of theater in high school. My mm -hmm. um, high school theater teacher kind of gave me the push to do this, or mm -hmm. that's what really sparked my interest in uh, film acting. And so I've been doing it for a while, mm -hmm. so my heart really lies with being on stage or in front of a camera like this. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's like it's almost like performance high, mm -hmm. right? So I'm sure you know, like when you're on stage, mm -hmm. um, talking, performing, there's like s this feeling which is unexplainable. It's like performance high, basically. Yes. So I definitely want to continue to pursue acting and film and um, theater also. You are in the right field. You yeah. enjoy just I the crux of what it is meant to give. Yeah. So, and uh, of course, uh, you have lots to achieve and I can imagine you already way ahead and uh, achieving all your dreams. But I love your mantra and the way you actually follow it in on daily basis. I try. Because we all say, but we might not do. But uh, yeah, you sure are blessed kid. <laughs> I, get very, I get very lazy sometimes, but I, I try. So that's what's important. <laughs> that is so true. That is yeah. so true. So um, would you like to talk something about how the time when you went to Bombay and you were trying uh, to meet uh, different people. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? And eventually this happened to you, right? So that path of actually getting to this movie. Yeah, um, I, so um, like you mentioned, I lived in Mumbai for a year. Mm -hmm. So I kind of left everything here and ran away from home. <laughs> um, but my mom and I stayed in Mumbai for a year. 
So I was kind of just getting my foot into the acting scene over there. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have any contacts or anything, so like you know how people say that actors struggle and all that. It's like exactly. it's very real because there's so much population. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I did a couple of ads over there mm -hmm. and like acting workshops and stuff, and then eventually I never got or I got offered some roles, but somehow the universe aligned everything and I it just never worked out or oh. I said no or You're something meant for happened. this movie I was meant for this movie <laughs> to be my W film so then when this movie came mm -hmm. along I thought the script is perfect like mm -hmm. I love it personally mm -hmm. the role is perfect for me because I played my age I played an 18 year old yes. so um, the offers that I was getting before like I was usually playing a different age or something like that mm -hmm. so uh, it was just all perfect and the stars aligned and then, yeah. See, that's the power of what you do, Lady Daily Mantra. Yeah, yeah. Along with Sai Baba blessings, right? Yes. <laughs> I know you definitely, believe in him a lot. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Size blessings. But yeah, not being a star kid, it's not easy to get a break. So, mm. uh, but you held up through that time and you waited for the right kind of thing that you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Having that patience uh, to be able to perceive till that time and, uh, you know, still believe mm -hmm. and still ask the right uh, prayers and blessings mm -hmm. from the universe and uh, getting it is magical then after that. <laughs> Thank you. So how was living in Bombay? It was, <laughs> there were like a lot of interesting things because I've I've been going to Bombay um, since I was a little kid but just in summers you mm -hmm. know family visits and stuff mm -hmm. so this was like a whole new experience for me I got to uh, see uh, Ganesh Puja uh -huh. in, yes, in Mumbai yes. so all that all that <laughs> band baja and everything it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun the festivals were amazing because I've never mm -hmm. been in India to celebrate yes. um, holy Mm -hmm. uh, Ganpati Puja, yes. all these different things, right? So that was a lot of fun for sure. Mm -hmm. Of course, the lifestyle is a little different. Mm -hmm. So yes. um, it took some time to adjust, but overall it was fun. Like I, I felt like home, I felt like it was home. That's such a good yeah. experience, you know? Uh, yeah, when the kids are raised and, uh, you know, pretty much brought up over here, it's a different experience to go yeah. back there. And uh, actually to even just live there is a struggle in itself. Yeah. But, uh, you know, after doing all that, you worked in an Indian setting, uh, it's pretty commendable. Thank uh, you. And, <laughs> of, and in the, amongst the people whom language you might not understand as much. Mm -hmm. So you definitely have that confidence in you. Thank so you. Uh, would you like to share anything interesting about the making of the movie or what? <laughs> <laughs> the inner there stories, are, huh? yes. that's what you want to know. <laughs> yes, there's so much, you won't believe it, that goes behind. It is, yeah. Like a film, when I used to go into the theater and sit and watch a film, I wouldn't think like how many hours to go into that one shot and all that. And now I have such a greater appreciation for mm -hmm. filmmaking. Like yes. it's amazing what the people behind the camera do. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I have a couple of experiences. Um, like one time I remember mm -hmm. on set, there was, it's India, right? So there's a stray puppy, <laughs> yeah. this stray puppy. So he came and he was like in the middle of a shot, he came and everyone was like trying to shoo him and like, um, and a couple of us who were mm -hmm. animal lovers like yes. went and he was so cute. He was yes, so cute. Yeah, so we started playing things with which him happen only in India. We can yes. proudly say that. <laughs> that that wouldn't we happen. Can that yeah. wouldn't happen on a set here, yeah. Yes. Um so yeah, like that there were a lot of fun moments where mm -hmm. um, random things happened or mm -hmm. we saw puppies, that was always fun. Mm -hmm. And what else happened? Uh I mean, just in general, like, everyone was really, really sweet. Oh, you know what I had a lot of fun with? Some shots. Um, we took a lot of these shots. Only a couple mm -hmm. were used in the film, but it was like the rickshaw shots. Mm -hmm. So it's where me or someone else, we're going in a car or rickshaw, and um, the camera is, like, attached to the rickshaw. Mm -hmm. Or the camera man, Naveen, he's amazing, he would sit next to us, and he would be really, really close in the rickshaw and uh, film us like that uh, while the rickshaw was moving. So that was a lot of fun, <laughs> being filmed in a rickshaw. That was, I don't know, it was just a fun experience. See, rickshaw is fun for you anyway. It's kind of different, you know, different thing that you get over there and you yes. get to be I got, there I actually and drove one there once. And then, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yep, it's not easy. Cameraman actually makes it or breaks it, but yeah. you have so much more appreciation when you're working as a team mm -hmm. and you realize the other side of the story, watching a movie and doing a movie. Yeah. See, you, knew, yeah. you, knew, you know the difference now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, friends, let us uh, take a short break and uh, we shall be back in a little while uh, while uh, interviewing Sasha Singh for her new debut movie. <laughs> 